Hey guys, hope you're having a good week. It's getting pretty damn hot here. We're having a lot of countries are experiencing temperatures that are higher than normal, new records for heat. And in my area too, it's getting pretty damn hot and humid. Huh. I can't wait till summer's over. <laughs> There's parts I enjoy, but for the most part, I just can't wait till summer is over. But anyways, I've seen some, a, uh, I, I'm, I follow some of the groups on Facebook, like the XJW memes and that are meant to all like be humorous where people will post about funny stuff. And I gotta say the one I found funny lately was about how like the JW Bible should come with the warning, you know, warning labels like like, you know, heavy, there's lots of things that do heavy equipment, cleaning supplies, chemicals, there's <laughs> cigarettes. It was one of the first things I thought of that all have warning labels. And where I am, they have made them, there's been um, more enforcement in recent years for them to put not only wording, but pictures too. Warning people of the harmful effects of smoking cigarettes. So I just thought too, made me really think, yeah, this should be on a lot of the JW literature. You know, just the other day I was even, one of my friends, I was showing him the, the, the pictures I've been able to snap of Jehovah's Witnesses' carts. Just showing him, you know, what they look like. You need to avoid this at all costs. Don't get close to it. Don't allow them to engage you in conversation. And it just got me thinking too, like, man, there's so much JW literature that should have, like, warning labels in the videos and the music. Oh, man, the music should have warning. May cause drowsiness. May put you to sleep. Do not listen to it if you're driving a car alone. <laughs> Man, warning may cause extreme boredom. And warning, worse than some of the Christmas music. I mean, some of the magazines and all the books and literature. Like, oh man. May warning may damage your spiritual health. You know, harmful to harmful to your brain. Warning contains doomsday cult, cult propaganda and especially the older literature. Warning false false contains false prophecies and inaccurate information. Warning may cause you to believe too much in lies. Their kids books. He had the warning not suitable for young children. Yet it's a book for kids. Warning may cause serious dumbing down of brain. And that should be on before you go into any assemblies and conventions. Yeah, and two, yeah, warning, may cause drowsiness and falling asleep. <laughs> the flyers, they sent out every, the invitations to, to, to our conventions and memorials. Well, man, um, warning, Black Mass Memorial. Warning, not everyone is allowed to consume of the wine and bread <laughs> warning all the meetings at the kingdom halls a no soliciting sign would be the best kind to put up <laughs> yeah warning contains false information contains biased opinions contains lots of made up crap Man, you know what you need to bring for all those conventions and assemblies and all the Jehovah's Witness meetings. I think you need to bring those glasses that that have those like fake eyes in it. 
like looks like realistic eyes that cover the lenses and but no, I think you can only get away with that at an assembly or a convention. Otherwise, people might be able to see that that you're actually asleep behind there, behind those glasses. But just, yeah, it's... Lots of things about Joe's Witnesses is just highly manipulated, false information, but yet presented as truth, like presented as as though it's like the most important, valuable information you could ever come across and you need to be a part of their group when that is just not the case. It's the exact opposite. It's a whole bunch of literature and videos and music that needs to be thrown away or burned or just ignored. Because it's garbage. Not too much more to add besides that. Anyways. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.